The um, horse um, mane, not mane, but the coat itself is very easy. The way um, Lori has put together the board is very easy. You're going to use zip ties. Let me show you the back because I already started it because it takes a while and I didn't want to um, take up too much of your time. Because of what I'm using, let me show you the back of the board first. Um, it's so thick that I'm using every other one. And um, I'll do a screen capture of it, but um, I'll do all of the, the sides to make sure that there's coverage. But then I'm doing every other one. And sometimes there'll be one right next to each other. That's to get the coverage um, itself. But the head, going into the head, you're going to have every zip tie done. And I'll take a picture and I'll post it or if you want to do a screen capture now, you get that face with it. You have, and five, four, three, two, one. That is the three, creepiest thing two, I've seen in a one. long time. <laughs> We're done. Um, these holes on the side are for the main. Wait till you see what I have for the main, guys. I'm pretty, I'm excited. I'm hoping it works out because it kind of looks like it would. But you never Georgiana's know. on our super fan. Hi, Georgiana, Georgiana the super fan. <laughs> Georgiana the super fan. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so the coat itself, I'm going to call, I'm going to continue to call it the coat because that's the, the horse's coat, is white felt that I got from Walmart. Uh, you're looking down at it. Nobody can see it. I know because I'm trying to read it, Danny. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> Gosh. Um. It was actually on sale. It's one yard of fabric cut felt. And I think this was to the yellow one that I got too. Um, but it was super inexpensive. Three bucks. The yellow one was three bucks. Oh. And this one I think was three forty nine. I think the yellow was going out because it's um, springtime. Mm -hmm. But it's a, a full yard and it's pretty thick so that's what you want or you could have um whatever fabric you want to use on it you can use um black felt for the black beauty you could use brown for gorgeous hat horse you could use brown and black to make spots within it completely you could, your design it's, you can make one of those those painted horses you know the ones that have the so, so um, pretty. the white and the brown and the black so, so, I'm just going to leave this out because I'm going to show you how to cut it in just a minute. Oh, Cookie says uh, it'd be good to make reindeer with, and we totally agree. Yeah, We have had some cool. ideas about that. Yep, we sure have because from the ear itself, you can just put up antler. 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 I made that, um, I made reindeer off the um, Dollar Tree. Uh, the wire. The wire candy, candy cane uh, yep. frame. Mm -hmm. And that was fun. But once again, I was working with burlap, and <sighs> we all know about burlaps. Get it right here. And I start coughing. <coughs> then we have some fun flowers that I may put on it. I'm not sure, depending on how we feel. Um, once again, Amy is the Bob Ross of wreathing. We can, we can use um, anything you want for the bridal itself this is like little rhinestones that i used for the mum i may use that I may... how dare you bridle the most majestic That's of fantasy I'm creatures i'm not sure if i want to bridle it who bridles a unicorn but she could be blinged out y'all mm -hmm. just saying we may, <laughs> just, we may just put it around her neck and just bling her out i don't know but then i also have some um fabric rope that i got from walmart and i braided it it comes in string like this, and I braided it um, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to bridle because <laughs> it's a unicorn. And I was thinking about the rope most of all because the mane itself. <laughs> I'm so excited. Deb is watching cops. She's doing. She's pulling an Amy. <laughs> Amy watches lives while there's other TV shows on, <laughs> and she'll like if something interesting happens, she'll look up. Or like if we're watching Pressure Luck or something, or. Uh, spin oh, we the love wheel. Game shows. We yeah. love game love shows. Love game shows. Family feuds, stuff like that. All right. She'll watch the live and she'll look up. Watch the live. Look up. Oh, we also live. have. I'm sorry. A unicorn horn that I just got from Walmart in the party section. 
I already took off an ear because I'm going to use that ear um, on top of the ear that we're going to make. And then we're going to take off the horn and put it on my unicorn. Okay. I don't like this one. Stop for a second. I have to do this. Bad boys, bad boys, uh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do Anywho, when they come for you? Bad the boys, is bad boys, done uh, what you gonna with, do? Um, it could be done with yarn. It could be done with those feather boas. And I was thinking about the feather boas. But th see, oh, now I got this. Debbie Whipple, hi. I'm gonna try that, that first last name. I believe it's either, if it's German, it's Kana. Or if it's Hawaiian, it would be maybe Kani? Kana? I think it's Kana. Speaking Kana, Kana of Wipa. Hawaiian. Don loves live PD. Fun fact, my boss is addicted to live PD. And while I was in Houston, I watched an episode of this it. This is not the Danny Show. Fell asleep. It is the Danny Show now. Okay, <laughs> and Cookie is watching it lightning and raining. Mary Jane has blessed and... Oh, thank you so much. Doesn't that... And force what, push. There, I, I can't say it. Why? I'm not going to say it. Okay. So, he just said Hawaiian. And I was thinking about this, if we wanted to bridle this majestic creature, because I'm going to use Lays for monster. the main. You monster. And I don't, these are, I was thinking about doubling them up, because normally you that's what you would do with the uh, feather boat. I got feather. It's Caney. It's Caney. I was right. Yay! Yay, German. Um, with the feather boas, you normally, um, it's, 12 inches and you cut it at six and or you can uh you, it's 12 inches you don't cut it at six but it's going to be six on either side and i just thought that would be really pretty i got these from the dollar tree i got purple i got pink i got blue guess how much they were i have yellow they were a dollar but each. each one came with three in it so i only spent four dollars on here and i have enough to do the entire main four dollars so i'm excited that's where this may come into play if we want to put oh that, these that's flowers. washed out no or that's just my opinion if we do this if we do a bridal hmm. that's why i was thinking this um and then we have the gold horn i didn't want to do a colorful horn because that would get washed out with everything so we have the gold horn that'll stick out and be like, I am a unicorn. I, I think as and long really as pretty. yellow, as long as you have the yellow ones up at the top, probably. What are you talking about? I, I just... already have the design. I don't know what. Oh, okay. You what? already, okay. Sorry. I thought you were the Bob Ross. He is going to be doing the next live. The heck I am. He sure is. Nope. <laughs> as far as everybody no, on this live knows, I am a pair of hands and nothing else. Um... With all, everything that he tells me that I should be doing or, oh, you should do this. Yeah, he's going to, I'm going to make him do a live, y'all. Mm. I'm absolutely going to make him alive. Make him do a live. So, let me show you. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Ah. Um, when you have the felt itself, I already cut up the pieces. And you're going to cut six by six inch squares. Six by six. So, however you want to cut it. Happy little um, clouds. You know, I wasn't, you know, I'm not really, a, <laughs> I don't work with uh, fabric all that much. However, I've been using a lot of fabric um, lately. So if you want to pan down, Danny. One sec, Facebook kicked me out. What do you mean? Not this Facebook, not the camera, so you could put down the camera so that way they can see. Would you let me work? Dead air, Danny. Dead air, dead air. All right, it's time to wreath. Okay. Let's do this. So I'm just measuring out. Why did I have it before? I had it this way. Yeah, but I'm going to do it this way because I don't need as much. So I'm just folding it over. I'm using my cutting mat to measure six inches from here to here. It, just, it doesn't have to be perfect. But um, get as close to a six by six inch square that you can. And then I'm going to cut along the line. And I'm using my, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the board as my guide when I cut. People don't like that, Danny. Actually, um, Dolores likes it. She asked me if I have 
spirit hands. Yeah, spirit fingers. Spirit guys. fingers. <laughs> So I have my handy dandy electric scissors. Oh boy, I think this is the first time she's ever used it on a live, so you guys get no, to... No, I used it on Monday. Oh boy, here this we go. This is Hawk Force. I got it at Amazon. I love them. I absolutely love, 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 love Hi, them. Hi, Shalyn. Hi. So I'm just going to cut. Um, so there'll be two pieces, two long strips of six inch. <laughs> What are you doing, Danny? Making but, those noises is not. There we go. So you can do. I'm not gonna say you can do two. Oh, horses. thank you, Deb. They are. They're very soft. Hi, Donna. No, they're not. I. These ain't. These ain't. Hi, these Donna. ain't hard working man hands right here. These right here are keyboard type and mouse using fingers. You may be able to get two unicorns out of this yard. Um, I'm only. <laughs> I've only. I'm starting this one, so I don't know for sure, but we can, we're can. we definitely going to find out together. So now I have just Hi, this Deb Wilkins, Deborah. long piece. Hi, Debra. Um, so this is going to be two pieces. So now I'm going to fold it over. Now you can cut this however you want. This is the way I found easiest. I'm just going to come up to my cutting line. I'm going to do 6 and 12. And then when I um, unfold this, it'll be another six by six square. Hawk Force sounds like the lamest superhero group of all time. I feel like I'm using power tools, y'all, and I am. Okay. <laughs> so when I unfold this, this becomes a six by six square. Uh, Shalyn says you have unicorns in your yard. Yay! We wish. I love unicorns. I wish. Now I'm just cutting the end that so, I folded. So majestic. And then that yield me six squares. But I'm sure those that work with fabric all the time that are um, viewing my lives, you probably have an easier way to cut. Um, I, in fact, I'm sure you do, but this works for me, so... Those two strips, the entire thing gave yield me six. Who was our superstar last time? Setting the chat on fire. I don't know. Oh, I gotta go look again. She had all kinds so of great tips. So I cut a stack. When we get up to the head part, um, it's going to be a little bit different. We're not gonna use six by six. We're actually just gonna fold it in half, cut the middle down, uh, right down the middle, and it's going to be a three by six square. You were about to say long ways. Was I, Danny? Yeah. Because you silly. Let me move this stuff out of the way for you. So that way I can get my board up. And we can do this unicorn. Like I said, you can use any fabric you want. I have already started. I've only done four rolls, guys. And look how full that looks. Let me flip it over so that way you can see the back. Are they able to see the back, Danny? Hi, Beverly. Are they able to see the back? Um, yes. Okay. Not all the way down here or? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I am doing. Oh, sorry, Renee. The, what happened? Mm, she said way too obnoxious for me. She'll fast forward through the video later. Mm -hmm. See? I am doing all the holes on the outside, and but then I'm going to do every other or in, in the horse body. And then the head, you're going to do all the zip ties. If you would like, if you go to uniqueinthecreek.com, when you purchase or look at the horse, bo horse board head um, under the frames, it gives you the um, diagram of the horse head itself and where the holes for the main are and the little bangs if you want to put bangs in him you or her you totally can where the ears are etc so it walks you through step by step and when you're using if you want to use mesh on here then you'll be using every hole every double hole if you're using um, like pine or fake evergreen 
Um, you're going to use every hole. Um, if you're going to use a thin a fabric like I did with the Sea Monster, that I did every hole. It just depends on the fabric. Felt is very thick, so that's why we're using every other hole, and it has great coverage. Hi, Esther Ramos from Texas, and hello, Karen Harper and Ellen Ide. Hello, I, I hello. <coughs> so I'm trying to move stuff out of the and way. And hi, so Ann see. Nielsen. Hi, Ann. Hello. And Hina Nielsen. Okay, so we have our squares, our six by six squares. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but just make sure it's a somewhat of a square. You're going to have it in a square. Turn into a diamond shape. You're going to take your thumbs, and it's like <coughs> we're doing a ruffle. We're just scrunching up the middle. Okay, oof. See, that's so thick. And you're going to have like a little bow tie. Then you're going to put that little bow tie through your zip ties. Yes, I've already zipped them. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's just easier to do so. Okay, and then you're going to zip it. BT dubs I did find before I um, tighten the zip tie I'm just gonna bring it down make sure that my points are the same length and then I'm gonna really bring it down I did find the gun everybody messaged me with information about the zip tie gun thank you so so much um, I found it on Amazon we have a what is it called freight hmm? what is that place called what freight Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. We have a Harbor Freight apparently right down the road, Danny said. So we may go there and check it out. Us tool heads call it hazard fraud. What? Well, their tools aren't the best quality. Oh, so. okay. Never mind. No, we can get that there. Well, it's this. I think it's the same price that I priced on Amazon. And I have Prime, so... I am Optimus Prime. So that's how you make the coat. Okay, there's other ways if you're going to do it on deco mesh. I've seen where it's rolled. Um, you take your deco mesh, it would be 10 by 10 like this, and then you're going to roll it. Kind of like what I did with the peacock. And then you would put it in this way and then bring it down. However, whatever you're using, um, just remember if it's not a thick fabric, you want to use every set of holes. Thanks, Deb. What, Deb? Uh, she says ha Hazard Fraud has good zip ties, too. Oh. And they're cheap. Very cool. That's the nice thing about uh, Harbor Freight is that everything there is dirt cheap. But especially for power tools, generally you kind of get what you pay for. I have an angle grinder that I got from Harbor Freight. And um, the uh, grinding wheel that came with it, it did not last very long. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. What? Nothing. No, it didn't. I cut. It's funny. Amy told me to get rid of this old grill we had, and I couldn't fit it all in the trash can, so I took my angle grinder and cut it into pieces and threw it in the garbage. So I guess it's not surprising that the grinding wheel didn't last too yeah, long. Yeah, think? <laughs> okay, so here we go again. A square. You're going to turn it into a diamond. I don't... Um, and then just start ruffling it up the center, point to point. I don't iron my fabric don't need to and I'm gonna put it right through the hole can they see this mm -hmm. okay it's a little far a, but put let me flip it upside down so oh Mary see. Wilson has a zip tie gun from Harbor Freight she says it works great nice. so that's good news we'll take a trip maybe after we go um, drop off the, the mom it's on the way home yeah there would that be easier guys maybe yeah Okay. But you have this like forest of I know. zip ties here. <laughs> that's no, a lot okay. of zip ties. And that's okay. why it was so intimidating to me. I'm like, that's a lot of holes. That's a lot of, I can mess this up, but you can't. You really, really can't. Well, you can mess up the design like I did with the seahorse, <laughs> but you really can't mess it up. Okay. So let me do it again. So we have a square turn into a diamond. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Then you're going to go from corner to corner. Oh, boy. Just scrunching up. Oh, boy, what? Uh, Deb wants to know when I'm going to make a wreath. Amy says tomorrow. Very soon. Hmm. Since he's, he thinks he's all wreath savvy. And I'm That's just, not true. I'm just putting it through 
um, my already zipped um, zip ties right in the middle and before I, I zip it all the way down the laundry I'm just putting it down everybody gets a, a damn break yay but then I can't see the the comments bro and then I'm putting it down so let me go ahead and turn around so that way you can see see how pretty that is and felt I love felt because right now I'm pushing it down but you can mold it if you want to seal it and spray it with the uh, Mod Podge or a, a sealant, you can, but you can bring up the, the, um, the coat itself. It's so, so pretty. Even at the end, when you're all done with it, you can spray it with its spray glitter. I know they sell it at Walmart. They have it at Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. They have it at Michael's. Um, that would be oh. really pretty too. The washing machine lied to me. Yeah, Deb, I think I will probably do a wreath soon. Yes. Because um, they're way easy. If Dan can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> um, actually, he sh she should say if... <laughs> what? <laughs> if it can be screwed up, Dan will figure out a That's way to true. screw it up. <laughs> so I have a square. I'm turning it into a diamond. And I'm just taking this point to this point, And I'm ruffling. I'm bringing that down, just like I do a ruffle on deco mesh. I'm bringing it down and just ruffling it up. Okay. And then I'm putting my finger there. This fabric is really thick. It's thick, thick, thick. So it's, I might, I have to hold it really tight for it not to, not to bunt, like fly away on me. And there, that's it. That's a row, right? Easy. Very, very easy. Doop. Doop. I do want to say, or this morning, or yeah, after I dropped off Ricky at summer camp, um, I was like, oh, I really want to start this. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll start, you know, the bottom row, you know, just so that way, you know, the live isn't so long, etc. Because I'm going to show you how to do the fold and how to put it in and, you know, let's just get it done and get the main, etc. And then after, I didn't even know it. And then I had to stop myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like I'm going to finish already. I'm in fourth row. I need to stop. <laughs> because right now, this is the last row. There's only four, the actual body itself. There's one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Um, is this six rows? Six rows. Deb says and I'm that using... I have a great teacher, so I should come out of the shadows. Yay, you should. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26, 27, 28, 29. So I'm using 29 6 by 6 pieces on this. That's it. And look how full that is. Hi, Joanne. This is, uh, these are 6 by 6 inch uh, felt squares, so it's just felt. Yes. I got this. I got <clears> the felt <throat> from Walmart. Um, it was in the fabric section. Where are you going? It was, you need to read the comments. I know. Teach me. I want to do one square. You're going to do a square? I'm going to do a square. Oh, my gosh, guys. Do you hear this? Okay. What do you mean teach you? You've been watching this entire time. I haven't really been paying attention. All right, so I'll do this one, and then you can do the other one, okay? No, just let me do this one. Okay. I'm going to do this one. All right. Can okay. I do this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, you're going to have the square. You're going to turn it into a diamond. There you go. You're going to take the point, and you're going to take your thumb, curl that point underneath, And now you're going to scrunch it up with your fingers to the, up to the other point. There you go. Make sure it's straight. Don't let it do that. <laughs> now hold it in your hand. I am. Yeah, it's hard. And then I fold it under. Yep. Like that, and then Take your finger. Yay. And put it in one of... You can put it in this one. Now zip it down just a little bit. Now take your two points. Ow. 
It's pinching my fingers. Well, get your finger out of the way. But it'll unfold. Why is your finger in there? Because I want to hold it. No, you'll be fine. Make sure that the points are... Okay. You're not paying attention when I'm telling okay. you. Okay. The points are uneven. Okay. So this comes to be like that. The easier mm -hmm. way is to take it two hands like this uh -huh. and go like that. Okay. So then you can hold it here and then zip tie it down. Okay, so I'm going to pull and hold. Hold it down and then... Not too tight. You're going to break the board. These are wood boards, guys. They are not... Okay, that's too much, bro. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Just pull it down and that's it. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to break the board, like you said. Okay. <laughs> Yay, you guy! Okay, he needs to do another one. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can do it without instruction. Yeah, the, wood, the horse board is not in plastic as of yet. Um... I don't know if Lori and Dave have um, any plans to do it in plastic, but it is wood, and I did do it. I did break the end because I, <laughs> you know me, I have uh, actually pulled zip ties out before. <laughs> because I'm too, I put too much strength in it. That's why the zip tie gun would be great for me. All right, pull one here. Oh, sorry guys. This head needs to be down here. Hmm? Oh. Way down there. Okay. But no. Yep. Yep, that's it. But it needs to be stronger, right? No. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Okay, no. Ta -da! Yay, get it in a hand! Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go read the comments now. Yeah, you go do that. Also, I have... A staple in my foot. Ha <laughs> ha! Very cool. Ow! <laughs> oh! Are you serious? That's not a staple. That's a wire. That's a wire from the wire ribbon. It was in my toe. Well, I need to vacuum over here. Oh! Okay, I did it! Yay! So you have to scroll up and see what the comments were. Uh, I am. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so we got a bunch of LOLs. Uh, we've got some hallelujahs. Deb says, woo, he can do it. Yeah. Don says, woohoo. Joanne Mahor or Major says, great job. Chris, uh, Tina says, hi, Ames. Hi, Tink. Karen says, I can be taught. Yes. Cookie says, never too old to learn something new. And somehow I still managed to injure myself. Okay, Hold on, the it. groceries are here. guys all right we're gonna keep on trucking that was awesome he did it see that easy that you can do that my apologies for the dogs if there's somebody new at the door they're gonna start barking oh good god miss molly i'm sorry guys okay so we're square diamond we're going to take the point and we're going to scrunch it from point to point. And then here's the last one I'm putting in. See? Easy! You can make a really pretty majestic type creature. And then I just cut off. Oh, she's upset now because she can't be pet. And that's it, guys. That is the body. That is the coat. Once again, let me show you the back. It went very fast because we just did every other one because felt is thick. I did um, every other one throughout the body, but on the sides, I did, I zip tied all the holes and including the back of the um, horse or uh, unicorn, etc. So that's that. Let me show you how to start making the face. It's gonna be so, so cute. So, so cute. Okay, so you're gonna take your six by six square and you need to do a three by six. So all I do is fold it over. You know what? We are gonna be able to do another unicorn. I need to get more, more horse heads. 
and then you're going to cut it right down. So it's a three by six. And then, whew, I am so sorry about way. that, you guys. I already apologized. So <sighs> now we're going to make little ruffles for the head. So for that, I'm going to take my three by six and the long way, I'm going to ruffle it up on the end. So that we have like a little skirt and that's going to become the snout. Ooh, I'm doing this backwards. Some of us call it a snoot. The snoot. Before I zip it down, I'm just going to fan it out a little bit. Like I said, on the top, I'm doing every hole because you're going to need it. Just so that way you can cover the entire head. Want to close those doors, please? I don't want to, but I will. Let's do it again. It's a three by six square. Now this is just for the head. And when you start the body, you're going to do a six by six. And then when you get up to the head portion, we're going to work from the snout back. Thanks, Joanne. And it's good three by six. Do you want to try this now? Uh, sure. Okay. <clears throat> Joanne uh, has given us a Louisiana State football. Woo! And that's our code word oh. for, for what you said you just did. L-S-F. So I'm just putting the zip tie uh, in. Code words. Let me finish this one, Danny, and then you can... Okay. I need to cut a bunch. Oh, goody. So let me go ahead and take... I'm just taking my squares, because I have a bunch left over. And then I still have leftover <laughs> felt that I haven't cut. So then you absolutely, with the one yard of the felt that I got at Walmart, you can do two unicorns. I'm just folding it over. That's all I'm doing. The folded part... I'm just cutting in half. Dawn, I can't think of a cool acronym for the letters you put. And it's a three by six. Florida, Louisiana State. So long way. I'm going to start the ruffle. Okay. It's thick, so you need to grab it in your hands. Or use a... Um, a clothespin. I, I show it like this is a clothespin. That's not a clothespin. But you can use a clothespin to hold it if you have problems with your fingers and your hands. And then just cinch it down. Fluff it out a little. Okay. And that's it. Once again, three by six. We're ruffling. Just doing a little ruffle. We're taking the, the smaller piece up top. Now this one here is just shared whole. You don't, <gasps> if you do a um, unicorn, you do want to do the shared whole up here, which is this one right here, and then it's going to cross over to the top. <gasps> what? You said the S word. A shared whole? Yeah. That's not a call to action, though. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it, right. Uh, Don, I uh, was talking about, I was trying to find a, a, a cool little like code acronym because Facebook will put you in Facebook jail if you ask people who um, are watching your lives to, to do those things that you typed out. So we have to be careful and, you know, when I say, uh, you know, Louisiana State football, that sort of thing. <laughs> there you go. That's the start of your head. Cute! Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hi, Andy. Um, Hi, Andy. Uh, Andy Sweeten Malone, I'm going to ask a question of you here in a moment. Uh, she's just got here, and she wants to know what kind of material we're, we're using. We are Absolutely. using... Absolutely. This is a white felt yep. from Walmart. Mm -hmm. Let me show you really quickly. Let me put this in, and then I'm going to show you. And it's in the fabric section where you get the little... Um, not the... 
I'm, I'm not familiar with a fabric. I, I'm not, <laughs> I don't work with it a whole lot, but um, when you go, it's behind, in my Walmart, it's behind the ribbon. And this is the yellow that I purchased too. It was on sale. Uh, the white was $3.49, I believe, but it's one yard felt. And it's, I know the yellow is hard to see. I'm sorry, guys. It's a 36 by 72 inches, one yard. And it's 91.44 by 182.9 centimeters. I don't know why they put centimeters on here. Because they probably don't sell it in just the U.S.? Okay. But um, I have to ask, Andy, are you related to Jody? Sweeten of Full House fame. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask. Do you? I, no. Do you? <laughs> and the way I'm zip tying is I'm making sure the heads um, go toward in. So this one is going to go in. So that way you, um, you're not going to see the heads of the zip ties anyway. But I'm just making, you know. Barbara says it's looking good. Thank you. I guess I'm not going to do one. Oh, I'm going to sit down. Well, you didn't come over here. Well, you said wait, so I did. <clears throat> Who wants um, to see Danny do the, the ruffle for the head? Joanne has a question. Yes. Uh, would this work with mesh or burlap too? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All of it. It'll work with mesh. It'll work with mesh. It'll work with anyone. What Anything? sort of technique would you use for the mesh? You weren't paying attention. To, no, I mean to get the to get it to lay down like that. You, you use... don't. You won't have mesh lay down like that. Um, let me get a piece of mesh really quickly. Do I have? Oh, she she's a far off cousin of Jody Sweeten. So in your face. Uh huh. <laughs> so if you have a piece of mesh, if you're gonna do it that way, I've seen it um, done um, a couple of ways. You can do the sunflower. Oh, blue was not the best color yeah, I was gonna say. to put on here. I'm trying to see if I have any extra cuts around. Oh, I have purple, I think. Yeah, this will be easier. Not really. So, it's just a 10 by 10 square. I've seen people do the sunflower, which is a square to the diamond. And then you can put it in the corners in, and then you're going to bunch it up. like the fish tail almost, and then put it in your zip tie, um, in your body this way. It could be that look. Or you could have a 10 by 10 square, turn it into a diamond, and then roll. I think this is what I'm gonna do with Godzilla because I need to have a multi-layer with it because he's got specific skin. So I'm just curling from point to point so you get that roll like I used for my peacock and then I fold it in and then you can put it in that way. Rose Harvey is here and she says, hey, hi. hey. Hey girl, hey, how you doing? Uh, Tina says, apologies to folks who may be colorblind. Yes, because yeah. they're not seeing anything but your fingers wiggling around. I know, I'm sorry. I don't have anything we don't have, brighter uh, cut. We don't have any cuts so, right now that are high contrast. But you can do a Harvey petal. A Harvey petal is the petal that is, you take the um, two sides that you cut. You're going to bring them together. It's still a 10 by 10 square. You're going to have them say, hello, how you doing? And then you're <clears> going to start <throat> scrunching the ends. And that's your Harvey petal. And you could put a Harvey petal in there. Oh, yeah. that would be cute too. Yeah. But with deco mesh, I highly suggest you're going to do every zip tie. Yeah. For this one, I didn't. I used every other. Remember that part. Otherwise, you're not going to get great coverage. Yeah. And if you're using a thick fabric, every other is just fine. You don't need anything more than that. Okay, so this is a three by, and for those of you that just joined, hello, my name's Amy Rose from Amy Rose Wreaths and Crafts. You're welcome, Joanne. We're making a unicorn. You're welcome. 
and the coat itself is six by six squares. The six by six square, you have that into a um, square into a diamond. Then you're going to pinch and you're gonna go from end to end, just ruffling. She makes it look so easy. Oh yeah. Um, and then you'll put it in your zip tie. D, that does happen sometimes with the mobile. In fact, I'm looking at, looking at it on mobile. What happened? Um, Especially if you have an Android phone, I found. Oh, I It'll see. zoom in on one part of the screen. I don't know why. Generally, what I have to do is exit the stream and then come back in. And that will fix it at least for a while. It's strictly, from what I can tell, it's a, a mobile a mobile phone problem. So then that's what I'm going to do for mobile phone. the head. He said as if he was 80 years old. Yeah, well. If the shoe fits. <laughs> So this is a three by six. I'm just ruffling in. It is thick, guys. Although I will say the view right now is just of Amy's arm. I'll look. Her head is still attached. Say hi, Amy. Hi. What are you doing? I'm just swiveling the camera. Don't do that. You make people motion sickness. Stop. Just leave it alone. <laughs> There we go. And so I'm just taking a couple pieces of my six by six. I'm gonna fold them in half. I'm gonna make my three by six. My handy dandy electric scissors. Stop moving the camera, please. Danny. I wanna get the perfect angle. You should do that before. <sighs> Or tell people when you're doing it, so that way they can like look away or something. You guys, I am the Stanley. Sorry, guys. I am the Stanley Kubrick of Facebook Lives. You're something. Yeah. <laughs> the Ridley Scott of Facebook Lives. No, I'm just and kidding. See how it just covers? It's really, really pretty, and you could use any color. Like I got the yellow. I'm not sure if I want to make a yellow horse, but uh, I don't know. Cookie says, Amy, saw. Saw? Saw. Saw. I don't know exactly what she's referring to. That's, I don't know either. I'm, I'm choosing... Cookie, what are you talking about? I'm choosing not to interpret that as a threat, like she's right? got some, some traps planned for us. Um, okay, Lisa says she's going to pop back in here. Uh, she's going to try to before you finish. Okay. She loves it so far. She's out, of, uh, out there. Um... Yeah, come on. Joanne says, Go out and come now back that in. I've seen you, I watched you make the hanger on your door. Hey. There we go. And the hook that we use for our front door, and we've had it on there for what, two years? Two years. Two yeah. years. It's the command hook. Um, and we have like the silver one, the brushed nickel to make it look all fancy. But we've had it on there for two years, and it has oh. not fallen off. Okay, so she's she's put your face to your name now, is what she's saying. Joanne. That I'm a saw? No. Cookie said something about saw. Oh. This is Joanne. She said now that she's she has seen your face, oh. she actually watched you make the door hanger before. So that was probably oh. one of your very early lives. Was that the broom, maybe? Mm. That may have been the broom. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a, a lot of lives from my first one, being scared and... Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> what? What did Cookie say? Okay, so, you know what? <laughs> I'll allow it, Cookie. You tell me what shirt you want Amy to sacrifice to make into a wreath, and she'll cut it into six by six squares. Oh! <laughs> and, and make a wreath out of my shirt, since you Dude, don't want Dude, I would it. totally make a fabric wreath out of that. I sure will. Which one of my shirts do you hate the most? Um, I've actually grown to like your, uh, your Hawaiian shirts. I'll have to go through your wardrobe again. <laughs> I know which one. Not my Assassin's Creed shirt. That red one. The that red, red one? red polo. Hey, I wear that to work. But it smells bad. <laughs> so, a three by six. No, because that wouldn't be any fun. There's no pattern on it. It's just a red polo. 
I don't like it. <laughs> Red is my least favorite color. Blue, absolutely. I got a blue shirt. Well, I'm not gonna sacrifice that blue shirt. All right, guys, see, we're almost done with the head already. <laughs> okay. So Barbara, for this one, she's actually not using mesh, but generally the mesh that she does use for the um, for the majority of her reefs, oh, I can't she wait gets to hear this. from Craft Outlet. Yeah, but there's different types of mesh. There is different types of mesh. Um, somebody said Ollie Fun. Ollie Fun, yes, you can use Ollie Fun in here. I didn't realize it until after I um, paid for this. I went back to Walmart to get um, Ricky new swim trunks and a, a swim shirt from when he went to Schlitterbahn because he's growing like a weed and I need to get an adult one. So, and then I was just, I always go in the craft section. I'm like, oh, I got to steer away. Nope. By myself in the craft section. And I see that they sell Ollie Fun. And I'm like, oh, I could have used Ollie Fun on this. And that would have been, you know, and Barbara, weather you, resistant, etc. On On our streams, ask as many questions as many times as you yes. want yes we're all here to learn and by golly i made i did one of those some of those on there are <laughs> you did too, guys. dan i did it uh so <laughs> ask away <laughs> what happened oh dear Wait, that. no it's good Hawk Force Assemble! Hawk Force! Uh, Joanne uh, wants to know where we're from. I am from, originally from Illinois. I was born and raised um, in Ingleside, Illinois. About 45 minutes from Chicago. And about not even 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes um, to the border of Wisconsin. Not even. And Cookie, we, were really close. we can't say those words to Amy right now because she's very upset about the fact that she's not there. Oh, the Crafters Convention. Oh, no, she said the words. <laughs> Why? Cookie, are you at the Crafters Convention? No, she said Cookie thought you'd be there. Me too, Cookie. Me too. Imagine my surprise. No, you know what? Life happens. Um, and we need to... Deal with life first. Uh, family comes first. Life comes first. And there's always next year. There's always, you know, something else. Um, maybe Rochester. I know uh, Wreath Makers Live is sold out, so I can't go there. But um, maybe another one. Who knows? But we live in San Antonio, Texas now. Yes, I'm sorry. You said cookie, and I... Yeah, I, I got you off track. Yeah, that was my did. fault. Yeah. Yes. Um, when I moved to Florida with my job, so I lived in Jacksonville, Florida for what, two years? Oh, Cookie says she wanted to go, but she had a lot of doctor's appointments. Yeah. Bummer. Ugh. Cookie, I hear that. Doctors. And you know what? If I was at Crafters Convention, I wouldn't have been able to see you uh, know, my son's performance. Joanne is in Tilbury, Ontario. Hello. Canada. Canada. We, We're making we love our Canadian dreams. viewers. Sure do. These are these wreath boards are made in Canada. In Canada. In Canada. <laughs> Home of ketchup chips and poutine. And this ice is hockey. the unique in the creek um, horse board. I don't think this is my first live doing the horse board. I was very intimidated at first. I really was. Then I saw a couple lives. Cookie Pardon. says that she will see you next year. Yay, Cookie! I want to give you a big hug. You be we better go next year. That's like a pinky promise. <laughs> okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five more. Is there somebody at the door? Oh, Joanne says, woo, woo. Woo, woo. Deb wants to know if you miss Illinois winters. Um, I do at times because I loved snow. I like the fall when the seasons change and the the seasons the leaves change uh, my grandfather you know pff, god bless that keeps popping out um when we would after we would go to church on sundays we would sometimes go um, to eat if we didn't go before and sometimes we would just take a drive and just 
um, look at the leaves. And, you know. And then if there was and... snow, 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 it won't be long before we'll all be there with snow. Snow, I wanna wash my hair, my hand and face with snow. Snow. Sorry. White Christmas is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. Sorry. <laughs>